pumpkins, pumpkins, round and fat, turned into a jack-o'-lantern just like that. And I have two pumpkin tales for you. The first one is about a little old lady that had an orange house. And she lived near your school. Now, this orange house was a funny old house because it had a chimney at the bottom and it was shaped like half a circle. And that's what her house looked like. Now, she had a cat and the cat had a long wiggly tail. And every time the cat went in and out, in and out the door, it'd bump its tail. So she had the carpenters come and they spilt, built a special door just for the cat's tail so the cat could go in and out. And that little old lady always wore a pointed hat and her hat would fall off when she went in and out the door. So she had the carpenters come and they built a special door just for her pointy hat so she could go in and out. Now, she also had two little pet birds and the little birds needed a window to fly in and out. So she had a special window built just for those little birds so they could fly in and out the window. Now on Halloween night, all the boys and girls from the school went to her house and they knocked on the door. She came to the door and she said, close your eyes, close your eyes, everybody. Surprise, it's a jack-o'-lantern. I hope you like that story. your teacher could tell it to you again. Now, this is another story, and I'm gonna need your help to tell this. When I say spin, you spin your hands. When I say rock, you rock back and forth. When I say knock, you knock on something. And when I say come in, you move your hand like this, like come in. Well, once upon a time, there was a little old lady who lived way out in the country. And every day, she'd just sit on the porch and she'd rock, and she'd spin, and she'd wait for somebody to come in. Now one day, she heard a knock on the door, and she said, come in, and in came two big black boots. I can't talk to you big old black boots, said the little old lady. So she just sat there, and she'd rock, and she'd spin, and she'd wait for somebody to come in. Well, pretty soon she heard a knock on the door, and in came two long, skinny legs. I can't talk to you long, skinny legs, said the little old lady. So she just sat there, and she'd rock, and she'd spin, and she'd wait for somebody to come in. Now, she sat there a little longer, and she heard on the door, and in came a funny-looking body. I can't talk to you, funny-looking body, said the little old lady. So she just sat there, and she'd rock, and she'd spin, and she'd wait for somebody to come in. Well, she sat there a little longer, and there was a knock, and in came two long, funny-looking arms. I can't talk to you, long, funny-looking arms, said the little old lady. So she just sat there and she'd rock and she'd spin and she'd wait for somebody to come in. Well, pretty soon she heard a, and in came two big old hands. Well, I can't talk to you big old hands, said the little old lady. So she just sat there and she'd rock and she'd spin and she'd wait for somebody to come in. Pretty soon she heard a, and in came a big pumpkin head. Well, I can talk to you, you big old pumpkin head, said the little old lady. And so they had a nice talk. Do you know the pumpkin man, the pumpkin man, the pumpkin man? Do you know the pumpkin man? I just drew it for you. And I bet you could retell that story and you could draw a pumpkin man too. Bye-bye now.